Okay, um, welcome back to Enderheart Tutorials, <laughs> I guess we can call it that. Okay, so, uh, now we're gonna do set, no wait, we did that. Okay, we're gonna do test for block. And so, this should have been a test for extension, but, uh, that spelling. But, uh, I guess they really just didn't implement it. And so, what this does, it's kind of self-explanatory, it tests for a block. And so um, this is one above it, right? And so again, I'm going to use tilde because honestly, it's so much easier. Tilde one, that means one block above it. Tilde, uh, tilde zero. So yeah. And so basically, it tests for a block, and then you have to specify the um, the the code or the the data value. And so it tests. You run it, and then it tests for it. It tests for uh, a block there made of stone, and then it gives you an output. And so yes, yes it does have stone on its head. And so if I was to take that off and update it, then it would not give you an output. I'm pretty sure it's an output of one. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Um, it's an output of one. And so I guess you'd have to extend that signal to uh to test for a block. So you can do a lot of stuff like that. So um like you can test for any block honestly. Um and there's different data uh what is it? damage values I think. Yeah damage values. And so it's it's another way of doing wireless redstone. I you probably already saw this on Seth Ling's video. If you didn't then you know check it out. And so let me let me let's see. Um, wrong button. F3. So this is a decreasing x value. So x minus five. So that's how you use your relative. Because it's five blocks to the right, right? And so you test. There's no uh, there's no stone there, but you can test for a stone pressure plate. It's uh, the ID is seventy. Is there a stone pressure plate? No, there's not. God damn it. One, two, three, four, five. That should be right. X, Y, Z. God damn it. Okay, that was my fault. Is there a stone pressure plate? Yes, there is. That's fantastic. And then the uh, the damage value for a pressed stone pressure plate is a uh, one. And so that's and so now is there no but if I was to check it now then it would yeah it would you can so you can practically have like a block in the air and then yeah you could have like no redstone underneath it but you can still test for it if you have the constant clock running like this Wow, Enderheart, you really know your crap. Your, with like a Y O U apostrophe R E. Uh, yeah, you would just constantly test for it. Clearly, there's no pressure plate five blocks to the right, but yeah, I think that's about it. That's really self explanatory. I don't know what else. You can, oh yeah, it's just test for a block. And so maybe you can have like, I saw in Hoodoo by uh, uh, MC last username or something like that um, he has like a gold block on the opposite side of uh, the map when if you're uh, like an attacker and then what you do the point of the game is you rush over and you break the um, break the gold block so what you can use is a command block constantly being updated and then a test for a gold block in that specific coordinate so yeah um, that's about it and that's honestly really self-explanatory uh, so that's it. Test for block. Done. Alright, so rate, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Crap like that. Whatever. Uh, yeah. It's outro!